There we go. We're live. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this. <laughs> welcome to our Sunday. <laughs> we, yes, welcome to our Sunday live. Uh, good to see you all. I can see there's lots of people in the chat. Now, have you checked the microphone? I haven't. I better do that. Oh, what's that? Oh, something's know, flashing. Ooh. Bit weird, are we? there you Yes, go. it's working. Right. Excellent. Good. It's working this week. So hopefully you can see and hear us. Welcome to our Sunday thing. This is our weekly hangout where we get to spend some time with you and share with you what's been going on. Mostly we've been buying stuff. <laughs> so I just noticed what you called us this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of teasing the fact that not overall did we spend particularly more than usual maybe no. a bit more but at one store we spent well we had to go back to the bank and get more money put it that yeah. way um we'll get into that in a bit and then we ran out of money today and then we ran out of money today because i forgot <laughs> to go to the bank and top up yeah anyway we went to two how many three two. So, sales two. Oh. oh no three yes maths it's not my strong point <laughs> um Two yesterday, one today. Yeah. Um, jumble trails. Um, there's so many going on in our area. Um, it's been fantastic. Um, so we did two yesterday. It did incredibly well yesterday. Today, it was a bit hit and miss because the weather was forecast to be awful. But we just kind of managed. We came home to the heaviest rainstorm I think I've ever seen. We did, yeah. Um, so I, I hope that wasn't happening where, where the sale was because... They no, would have been drenched. And a lot of people didn't set up because of the rain. Yeah. So <laughs> we were actually looking at the Facebook group in the morning and saying, oh, "Look, this is." I've had a long list of people that weren't setting up. I said, "Is it worth going to?" But we decided that if you don't go, you don't know. I forced myself to yeah, get out. Of we bed. both forced ourselves. It was exhausted. Didn't so, have a lot of sleep. But we went and we didn't find a lot today, but we found some really nice stuff, more your kind of stuff, really. Yeah. Although, did all the DVDs come in? I don't know. Must have done. Where are they? I don't, I don't know. You emptied the car earlier, didn't you? Well, I just had a thought. I'm, I bought all the stuff in. Oh, maybe they're in there. Anyway, we'll get on to stuff. Let's say some hellos. We are live streaming, so if you're watching us live, you can interact, you can say hello. Um, I can't get back to the beginning, but I will start here. I think Pete, Pete was in first. Um, okay. So welcome, Pete. That makes um, sense. Secret Carpa, Leanne, Elaine, good evening. The There's Pete and Gary Nespresso. Uh, Kez is in and Emily, lots of people saying hi, Zainam, Ben, and, and Steve, we saw Steve, Steve yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you messaged me on Instagram where you left a comment saying, I hope the because we bought a load of Warhammer stuff, which I did share on Instagram, and I think it was Steve who said, Um, don't tell me that was from the yard sale we were at, and it was, it was at the stall where we were chatting to you, which we went back to, and they'd put loads more stuff out. Yeah. We filmed that pickup. We didn't film the rest of it, so I'm going to do a separate video. I will show the pickup, but I'm not going to go into details of how much I spent and how much I think I'm going to make, because it's. I'm going to do a standalone video, but it's such a crazy find. I've never found that much Warhammer in one go. Um, yeah, we'll get on to that. But it was good to catch up with you. I hope you did well as well um steve laurel mark evening tatry homers <laughs> says steve <laughs> tatry homers yeah oh here yeah. <laughs> is that what one of your bags yeah you, it my... says saving the planet rehoming one piece of tat at a time yeah <laughs> there, there's normally like a little bar below our youtube videos with with the t-shirts and hoodies that we've had on for a while but you've designed some yeah like, i've done some bags. um organic cotton eco-friendly t-shirts and tote bags so yeah they don't show up they're not like the first ones that come up on there but you have to click through to the shop and then you'll be able to find them yeah and thanks to everyone who has gone and bought them um we've been really pleased with that okay um that's a few more hellos before we crack on 
Uh, I think I've said Elaine already. I've already seen Andrea's big cockerel jug in Insta. Yes, it's sat right there. Um, Adrian, why do people buy Christmas trees in August at boot sales? I saw two people today. Um, they'd be really stupid if they're picking up. Um, there wouldn't be um, live ones. Live ones, I was, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> but um, cheap, I guess. But yeah, I mean, people are just getting prepared, aren't they? If you don't have a Christmas tree or you want to upgrade your Christmas tree and you see one at a boot sale, now's the time to get it, I guess. Ernesto Esparza Jr. I'm just wiping this because I am. Um, Epic name. Ian and Daisy and Claire and on it. Joan. Nice weather for ducks. Yeah, it was hammering it down earlier. So Crazy. Bad. Right. So, oh, Richard's in and Nia and Ali. Right, we'll be here all day. Hello, everybody. There we go. I'm going to scroll down to the end. If I can get there. Is that the end? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Now, Rich is in. Uh, I spoke to Rich earlier and asked if it was okay to share what he's doing. Um, sadly, Rich's brother passed away of cancer. And Rich, this is Rich's younger brother. So I'm going to st struggle to talk about this. I watched mm -hmm. Carla talking about it earlier and she struggled to talk about it. Um, Rich has set up a memorial fund and i asked if it was okay if we could share that and he said it's fine so we'll quickly do that um if i screen share yeah if you watched carla's live this morning the then you will have already seen this so apologies if you're seeing this twice but we do have different audiences as well i think that's the link shared um if not you'll yeah that should work let me know if that link works yeah. <laughs> um okay let's see if we can manage to do this window that one share okay so that's rich there i know many of you know rich he has a youtube channel and that's his brother in the little uh window there and i'm not going to attempt to read this rich because i saw carla struggling to read it out I wouldn't get through it. I know you wouldn't stand a chance to be able to read that. But please go over and, and read it yourself, find out what's going on, which is fundraising to create a place where they can go and remember his brother effectively. Um, so if you can spare a couple of pounds, um, go and add to the fund. If you just want to go over and read what Rich has put, please just do that. Um, I know I'm not being very eloquent. I struggle with this sort of stuff. <laughs> so yeah okay did you want to add to that no i think you've, <laughs> you've um, said it. did that link work uh can someone confirm yeah, I think that selena said it, uh, it did okay i would say more but i will start crying because i don't cope with this sort of stuff very well i'm a ridiculously emotional person <laughs> um so yeah let's i'm gonna stop the screen share like I say, if you can afford a few pounds, go over there and support what Rich is doing. If not, just go over and read what he's put. It's really poignant what he's written. Oh. Um, yeah, <laughs> well, I'm struggling to say it, Rich. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, thank you for letting me share that. Um, it's a privilege. I hope you, you can reach your target and, and create some sort of memorial for him. Right, another thing off on a tangent this arrived yesterday and i don't know who it's from i'm sure i've got a message somewhere that explains what this package was if you're in the chat let me know um because there was no note in it but what's in there is a load of question oh. of sport cards i haven't been through but i assume the ridiculously expensive one isn't in there i assume it isn't it's um just teasing you Tyson. Yeah, so Tyson, I think it's sports cards, but I've taken out a ridiculously expensive. Is it one. Tyson? I feel like I I'm getting that wrong. Tyson, yeah. Um, there's a card that comes in this board game that um, has gone crazy, and I, I, I'm assuming you didn't send me that because that would have been amazing. But it's a set of those, and then a load of what looks like Star Wars Monopoly cards, and no note. So thanks, whoever sent that. Um, if you're in the chat, say hello. Um, 
Do we have anything else? Any other shout outs to do? Oh, yes. I shared a little video recently where I had um, I found two Wii games in a in a game case, oh, yeah. and they were both really nice titles. One of which was Mario Party Eight, and I had a message from I think the name's on the envelope, uh, Gary Smith, who said he had a spare case, so I now have the case to go with that random disc I found. So that's going to add to its value, make it a lot easier to sell. So thank you so much for sending that over. Gary, really appreciate it. I think that's all the shout outs we need to do. Oh, is that going to stay? Maybe. <laughs> Might be an avalanche in a minute. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> I think Pat is Rich's mum. Oh, okay. Yeah, good to see you. Hope you're doing okay. Chris. Nice to see you. Saw your Erin blog. What a fizz pot. A fizz pot. That's a good, that's a good name for her. Yeah, that's the way to describe that. <laughs> I turned a one pound charity space. No, space? I think it's meant to say I turned a one pound charity shop space model. Okay. Into just under 60 this week. Just need to find a few more then. Wow. Nice find. Yeah, good. Okay. Went to a jumble trial today. Someone was asking fifty pound for a Nerf Ooh, gun. Wow, we. me. Oh look. <laughs> Don't set us off again. <laughs> um, okay, so as we said at the start, we went to two jumble trails yesterday, fairly local, and one today. The one today was in a little village and a, about half of it hadn't set up because it was predicted to rain. So we didn't buy a lot today. We did buy a fair bit yesterday. So shall I leave, leave the epic spend till a bit later? Shall we yeah. see what have you got down there? Well, I've got a jug. Oh, you've got your jug. <laughs> I shared this on Instagram earlier. Um, this is a hand painted in Italy. Now let me get this right. A Deruta um, jug. <laughs> A uh, rooster jug. The, the internet de router. The router. Spelt D E R U T A. <laughs> You've been researching this one already. I have. I've have researched you? it wow. already. Yes. And I reckon I'm going to put it on Etsy for about £30. About 30 Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, it was in a really nice. We went to a village uh, here in Hertfordshire. Really nice village, actually. We were both saying today that it's a really nice place, isn't it? Um, probably crazy expensive to live in but it yeah. was a little side street one of those streets that looked like it hadn't really altered much in like 300 years and the yeah. woman had all this stuff arranged along the wall by her house and we picked up loads of stuff from her yeah one we thing nearly... that i learned about this is that they were traditionally given to people as housewarming guests housewarming gifts should i say oh. um as good luck sort of gifts to ward off like um bad energy so they don't have any trespassers or you know okay anything like that so so we're starting with a jug today <laughs> is that the only jug we bought today it might have been we we looked at a, a port port merion or port, port myrian as apparently yeah. you're supposed to say it uh coffee set yeah or was it but it, it was, had it some hairline cracks, so we, we it left was, it. It was very crazed. It was a gorgeous 60s pattern, um, but it was very crazed, and um, there was a big crack um, inside the lid. So I had to regretfully decide not to buy it. I was very tempted, but I just It was only a five of the I set. I don't think it was in good enough condition to pick up. So. No, so we left that. So what sad, else did really? you get from... Um, what I've already sold to Antoinette, but I need to find a postage cost for her, um, is, is, in here? is the caviar dish, which I also shared on Instagram earlier. Oh, blimey, I can't reach. It's, yeah, it's just there. Lid? There's a lid. Yeah, so it's this, and the lid is quite loose on it, so I have to be careful. But it's um, it's a Russian. Now there's a, there is a word for this type of pottery, but I can't pronounce it, so I'm not going to say it. But <laughs> it's it's Russian. It's um, caviar, 
dish, basically. And um, yeah. And that's sold already. That's sold to Antoinette. She collects. Is Antoinette in? She collects them. I don't know if you're in. It's porcelain, and she collects that sort of stuff. So thanks, Antoinette. I will be doing a very careful packaging job on this and shipping it out to you on Monday, tomorrow. How is it Monday again? I know, it's just what is going past, on, isn't it? Um, so that came from the same lady. Um, now the jug was, what, a couple of pounds? Yeah, that was two pounds. I think, I think that was two pounds I think that might have well. been two as well. And then, oh, these are right. I don't, I don't, I did see Kirsten in. Are you still in? These are the paper mache bits. Yeah, these are lovely. And these are Russian as well. So she must have had some Russian connection. She, yeah, she either had family that were Russian or a husband or not sure. Or well, she just loved Russia. <laughs> so there's this. So these are super light, aren't they? Because yeah, they're, they're papier mache. Yeah. And two more. So, yeah, I've got little. And they're all fruit dishes. Fruit themed. Is that similar to. Because I put my ladle in there as well. Do you want to grab the ladle? Made in USSR, which obviously dates it. Yeah, you already have So, it. yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> it's a comment from Steve. Cocoloma. I know this one, he says, seriously. Um, yeah, so <laughs> you might remember a, a very long time ago, actually, I think it was last year. I picked up a ladle, um, but I've never actually listed it. So I'm thinking, we were talking about this earlier, weren't we? I'm going to list this on its own and then do a job lot with the ladle. Maybe. We'll do some more research. I mean, yeah. it may be, but we're thinking but, these. Yeah, those are our initial thoughts anyway. These will go as a little lot. So I'm wondering, is that, does that go with that? Is that similar to that, that pattern? It is, yeah, because yeah. it's got the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the red berries awesome i mean you could pair those up yeah, and these or whatever but yeah. and as ever if you see anything and you want to grab it before we list it and sell it just get in touch ideally message andrea because i i'm so terrible with oh, messages she said look at the gold inside i sold a set for 70 pounds Ooh, steve knows stuff he does who knew no. oh. <laughs> nice one steve yeah so they're all this made in ussr Look, even Lex has to concede. Steve knows. I like that. <laughs> I love the proportions on that. It's just so nice. Really mm. nicely painted. So they were lovely. And these were a pound an item, apart from that, that you already had from ages ago. All right, I'm going to stack stuff up over here and try not to spill my Coke. Yeah, don't do that. That would be... <laughs> on the new Mac. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be a disaster. You also, you also design. grabbed that oh, yeah, from, love the, this. from the same lady. Tiny little um, bud, bud vase, as um, Josh would say. <laughs> Studio pottery, and it's signed on the bottom. If anyone recognises this signature, can you let me know? Because I've not, I've not come across that signature before. So sweet. I, I just... You love that design on it. Yeah, I, I did see this and it, yeah. that didn't do it for me. I, I, oh, you I know, <laughs> certain things appeal to certain people. Yeah. See, the design of that and the proportions, that feels, mm, didn't do it for me at all. Yeah, I love it. I do like your big, the big, the your big, big chicken. chicken. I'm not going to say your big cock because people all take <laughs> it the wrong way. I do like, I've just noticed that's got yeah. a little bit of sort of staining in there. It looks like it's maybe water damage or something anyway we were really pleased with that stuff um oh you also got a plate from her oh and this oh, i like this we're thinking russian steel yeah yeah definitely salvo isn't that cool i like that that's really so cool she's, uh, she's wooden that's really Looks cool. like it's I a turned wooden doll couldn't grab her quick enough um she was a pound, along with the papier-mâché stuff. Oh, where am I going to put this? But you also got a plate. Oh, Alison it? Ellis says, I'm interested in Sebastian from The Little Mermaid behind you on the shelf. Okay, so Alison, you can either message me on my Instagram 
um, links below or Nick on his on our Facebook page, his private message through our Facebook page. Yeah, um, you are. You are very welcome to him. Yeah, he's not. He's not listed anyway. No, <laughs> I haven't got around to listing any of these bits up the top. We found a load more goodness gang. So we're going to do a bundle of good goodness gang soon because we've got loads today. Um, not Martin Brothers. I don't know. What's that? The, oh, the, so the dog? yeah, so keywords on that Russian folk art. On um, on these Kirsten. bits, or, or maybe yeah. do you mean the doll, Kirsten? Or oh, maybe the doll. That's. Maybe. I don't know how far I am behind. <laughs> we don't know what would people are referring to. <laughs> that would make sense as Russian folk art. It's really nicely done. Actually. It's lovely. Um, yeah. So you also grabbed this from the same lady, wasn't it? No, this was a different store. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Um, Liam Thomas says, I haven't watched you for a while. Andrew, are you still selling clothing? Or have you swiveled? <laughs> I've swiveled. <laughs> I do have a lot of clothing still to list, but I haven't listed it. And I'm, yeah, I've swiveled. I'm not interested in clothing anymore. You've been swiveling, have you? It, it's main, well, it's mainly because it just takes me so long to list. So clothing was just taking too long to prep. Hi, Lainey. Lex with a teddy bear mascot. Oh, we were looking at mascots. <laughs> was it last night? the men's the men's oh, health one was quite yeah. quite a thing <laughs> um, or is it an incense holder it was what an incense holder the doll the doll isn't no it? that's not i'm not sure what you're referring um, daisy to daisy asks do you ever find things you end up keeping yeah all the time <laughs> yeah all the time sometimes we keep th there was a, a vase that sold last week actually that that you couldn't find because we'd put it on display in our living room so yeah. we we like to if we both like something we'll have it on display in in the living room well, and we'll, we'll enjoy it for a month or a week <laughs> or as long as it takes to list it um likewise if and when and it's not very often now i get vintage gaming stuff quite often i will keep it and enjoy it yeah for a period of time and then pass it on I mean, if you saw the right. last video I did on my channel, then I talk a lot about um, buying things for ourselves and offsetting them with the cost of how much we resell, other things that we bought at the same time. And yeah, so if you haven't seen that, check that out. And yeah, yeah you'll um, also see that I like to keep a lot of stuff. <laughs> and we like to buy, for example, our, our daughter, you may be aware, is off to Brighton Uni uh, soon, and we've been buying things like homewares and stuff for her to use and we've always bought stuff for the house and stuff like that for ourselves second hand because it, it's perfect way to buy stuff yeah. on both oh okay so russian folk art cool um it's just steve's put there will, will the app show stores that nick has been to so we know all the good <laughs> stuff has gone it's yeah. not going to be a feature yeah. no <laughs> steve and alexa would like that <laughs> yeah yeah um, What's the figure next to Sebastian? There's two Batman figures. These are, I can't point, as a blue Batman, and this one is a red Batman. Yeah. I don't know what... Oh, you know that Daniel was asking about Power Rangers stuff. I think, <clears throat> I think you did oh, you think you did reply to me and ask me if, if any of them were morphers. Um, and I, I, don't I meant know. to ask you, and then it slipped my mind, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not sure that there's somebody whose name I always forget who's been really helpful with identifying the first big haul of Power Rangers I got. Oh, they was it Daniel? Because Daniel did. No, opposite. it was it was a lady, I think. I don't know. I, I forget who messaged me messages me what, and they they offered to help with the with the new haul as well, identifying them. Yeah, so did Daniel. Oh, okay. I don't know what I've got, Daniel. I'll be honest. I don't know much about Power Rangers beyond the fact that they sell really well. Do we ever buy anything on the Facebook marketplace? Yes. Not a great deal. I, I'm not very good at searching on there. Um, I'm always a bit late to the game usually on that. Um, yeah, so Alpesh thinks that it might be Martin Brothers. This one? Hmm. This one, you mean? What's the... Oh, that might be an M. Hmm. I thought it looked like it might be a. I don't know. XM is what I XM see. XM or a T or. 
Anyway, I will look into that. Thank you. Okay. Um, so the first store we went to, was it the first? I think so. Yeah, it was where we saw Steve and Alexa. We found a load of Toy Story stuff and all sorts of other gear. Um, this is nice. This is the Thinkway uh, Bullseye. And I do have the Woody that sits on him somewhere. I don't know where everything's gone. It's all in a mess. But yeah, he's the... <laughs> we're talking one. He's cool. The Thinkway ones, generally, if you pick them up and they're Thinkway, they will hold some value some a lot more than others if you if you can get the um mr potato head who pops all of his bits out <laughs> you know what i mean he pops <laughs> off his eyes and stuff and he talks they go for silly money i've had incomplete ones that have gone for i don't know what it was ages ago 50 pounds or beyond uh i don't think bullseye is worth a great deal um he's one of the lesser sought after ones maybe 20 i think and the lady said she has the stand he, he does come with a clear perspex or plastic stand uh, she's going to give me a call if she finds it um but i was pleased to find him i've not had the think way yeah, cool. bullseye really before cool. so that was nice um yeah you handed this to me i didn't actually share it oh okay sorry <laughs> i haven't got this african bowl basically i don't know what's it is it no it's not Sto wood is it stoneware it's stoneware i think or something similar it's, it's some yeah it's not wood <coughs> it's quite heavy oh lily it's says really nice it's got a bit of wick around the edge as well so what is it can't can't oh that i didn't even notice that that's clever yeah, like that uh lily hi guys i've managed to set up a jumble trail on canvey island ah we have family from there on your side oh. um for the 29th of august do you think i should notify my council as it seems a lot of people will be doing it all over canvey i don't think it's necessary um but if it's something that you feel you should do then then go for it but mm. as far as i'm concerned i don't think it's a problem it's just people selling from their own doorsteps yeah, so think with some counties it is but i don't know which ones <laughs> so yeah for peace of mind let them know um but I suppose then you run the risk of them saying, oh, no, you can't do that. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> okay, what next? <laughs> yeah, even, even Kelly says, beg your pardon, pops his bits out. <laughs> he does. He does. He pops his eyes and his ears and his nose off. Oh, Phil's received the Minnie Mouse for Amanda. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, Phil did let me know. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad she likes it. That was the vintage Minnie Mouse that I had. So, you know, Phil's bought that. Doing that with your glasses on isn't clever. Oh, hang on. Kenton says it's not this. Martin Brothers. All their wares had Martin Brothers scratched into the base of each piece. Also, usually dated. Okay, back to the drawing board. <laughs> what do you reckon? Um, I have no words. <laughs> I that, can't, that, that I can't boy, see. The little boy that didn't stop talking that um, previously owned all this stuff said, um, <laughs> said, and it hurts my head when I put it on. <laughs> we, the, this first store we went to, um, yeah, there was a young lad there who was living his best life. He was just showing me everything and describing, would you like this? What about this? What about, I was like, I, I felt like saying, just, just let me browse, please. But bless him. <laughs> Yeah. And we must have been there a good 10, 15 minutes and he did not stop talking the entire time. He was, he was very so excited. excited. Very excited. And then when we spent loads of money, he was like beside himself. Um, so, yeah, this is a, it straps to your head. It's got sound effects because I can see, yeah, it takes battery. So I'm assuming it, it roars and stuff. But yeah, I really like that. It's cool. So I grabbed it for a, pound or two can't remember yeah. we, we bought a stack of stuff uh the liverpool delta says that <clears> the pottery <throat> mark is possibly michael mossy oh are you writing any of this down because you know i'm not no. <laughs> or i should be are we still on about the little dinky one yeah we're, we're, um and steve says end. it's not martin brothers yeah we've established that okay well, well we worked, <laughs> um, we worked out what it's not <laughs> yeah um 
Goldfinch, hello, says, I find you both so inspiring. From, from your experience, do you find August a slow selling month? I've been doing well this year until the start of the month. Um, from experience, there is what we call the summer slowdown where people are out and about and they're enjoying life and not really shopping that much. Yeah. Um, so there is a bit of a slowdown during summer. It can be. It all, it all depends what you're selling as well. You yeah. know, if you've got loads of stuff in your store that's holiday related, camping related, beach related, yeah. you might see a surge. So it is a lot dependent seasonal wise when your peaks and troughs are. Our store, for example, historically used to go crazy in December because of I was so big into toys and games and that sort of stuff, which I still am to a certain extent. Yeah, but we don't have so much but of it. So it's not, not so much anymore. Um, so ours will be less seasonal. Yeah. So it, it does come down to what you're selling. Mm -hmm. But like you said, when, when the summer holidays kick, everyone's suddenly out doing stuff. Oh, I've got kids at home. What am I doing? But then we've been selling lots of Nerf, for example, because kids are off school. They want garden stuff to do. Yeah. Um. Um, Where do I go next? What we have I? a super chat from Gadget Man who says, "I hate Russian dolls. They're too full of themselves." <laughs> Dunno. Is it all night? <laughs> what was the, did it, uh, How do you do it? Um, That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? Da -dum. I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't that, wasn't that a funny thing it was seen in friends where they were doing a similar thing like <laughs> and I couldn't Chandra couldn't do the da -da -da <laughs> I can't do it either. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Gadget Moving Man. On. Moving on. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Um yeah, work on the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> um so oh I picked this up. This was today. Um paid one fifty, wasn't it? um there's a stall uh, with the dad was there but he was letting the two young girls sell their stuff so it's lots of toys games dolls books um and there was this which is osmo it's it's uh, a learning game which is based around an app so it runs on your i think it's uh apple yeah for ipads and iphones i believe or at least ipads and it has four different games well educational games and yeah not amazing money in it knew they're about 40 to 50 second hand i'm probably going to push for about 20 but it's just a really nice thing i had it all out early and the packaging is gorgeous and it? it's all really mm. really nicely designed really like that might have a little play with it before we um sell that one <laughs> <laughs> to be educated <laughs> yeah um, Craig Sampson, thank you for your lovely comment, says you both literally make my Sunday evening. Both such lovely people and inspirations to so many people. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Craig. Thanks, Craig. That's so nice of you. And Mandy um, has been helpful about the Jurassic head, saying that it's worth about £50. Really? I bought them for my kids and they're quite sought after for cosplay. About 50 £50? Do you mean that's what you spent? No, oh, no, that's worth about 50. Second hand, wow. Yeah, it's a really nicely designed thing. I honestly had no idea it might have that much value. So if it does, that's amazing. We did incredibly well from that still. Um, I was gonna quickly show this. Today, as we said, I would say at least half of the the stores that did sign up didn't set up because it was predicted to rain and it did rain eventually didn't it like torrential yeah. so we didn't get a great deal today it was slim pickings but i did grab this because it's brand new in its packaging still and it's it's for a wedding we think don't we yeah so um take your seat for a seating plan so you'd have your seating plans and it's these are all little bulldog clips i i, I was thinking for ellen because she wants a little notice note board yeah. for her it's not quite right for her really. room at college but or uni rather but this isn't what she wants but then i thought well for a pound mm. it's probably got some pretty decent resale value uh because yeah. it's brand new in the packaging so i and, grabbed it um, weddings are back on again now so weddings are on <laughs> everybody's pack our neighbors got married today no yesterday oh yesterday oh yeah 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 sorry um daisy we, good hand says any advice on where to find the jumble trails you go to do you just search online for them? yes currently i just search online for them or i search on facebook 
um, but you may have heard. What, what we need is... <laughs> Um, I've which had will help you to locate um, jumble trails in your area and or wherever you are. Yes, I have had a lot of questions because the app keeps coming up in conversation and some people are new to the channel. Some people haven't seen when we talked about it in any detail. So quickly, the app, we are we are really far down the line with it now. We're hoping to get a version out in the next week or two what, that people can start testing. Um, which is really exciting. The app is going to be a centralized place where people can share jumble trails, yard sale events, you know, whatever you want to call them. So people can then find them easily based on their location. We're also building into it the ability to create a yard sale within the app and create interactive maps that guide you around and give you the optimum route around it. So much more functionality within it. It's gonna be a database of hopefully all of the UK charity shops. Boy, that's a big task. We, we, don't, we didn't realize how much we'd no, bitten off. No, and thank you so, so much to everybody that's helping out with that. I was gonna say, we have yeah, recruited amazing. so many friends and family to help build a database of charity shops. We want to be the only database of 100% of the UK charity shops, but it's about 10 or 12,000 shops. Anyway, that's our problem to deal with. Also, we are building a database of boot sales. So it's all going to be in one app on one map. Yeah. That's the aim. That's yeah. the goal. So, and what yeah. you will have is a feed similar to, similar to like an Instagram feed. Yeah. Um, so which will make it very easy for you to locate sales that are near you. Yep. Yeah. But just quickly before we leave the app in the past, to say it's been a learning curve and to say it's been a lot bigger task than we could have imagined is an understatement. Just put that out there. Jason Entwistle says, Nick, I got a Star Wars helmet um, taken down on eBay. They said it could hurt kids, it could hurt kids hearing, but no, it's listed. I don't, I, I don't know what to say about that. Know, we had something like a helmet thing i've had sold. several star wars helmets yeah, yeah we've had something else as well once i don't know transformers mate. that was what it was yeah they do transformers yeah. ones yeah because we had a bit we had you in the vlog once didn't we like with, this. with bumblebee on yeah i couldn't tell you what the reasoning is behind that we've had stuff taken down in the past when there's been we've had cds taken down in the past yet there's hundreds of other ones listed on ebay um and i couldn't get a straight answer out of ebay Sandra's asking, do we prefer to use buy it now or auction on eBay? We we personally generally prefer to use buy it now. Yeah. Um, you but that's just because that's what we prefer. <laughs> on average, you get more do it setting your price where you think you can achieve. Um, I've made videos on that in the past comparing auction and buy it now. It depends a lot on the type of item you've got, though, whether going the auction route makes sense. Mm. If your item is super in demand, Lego is a great example. It should meet, it should get to what you think is should be its going rate kind of thing. But if you put stuff on auction, you run the risk of it not getting much interest. And if you yeah. start it low, it is risky because it might sell where you start it. So it's it's personal preference, but. I believe if you do your research and set your price, on average, you get considerably more for your stuff, is my opinion. Yeah. Although other people have very different business plans and um, the way that they list, and Lex does a lot of auctions and does mm. very, very well with them. So, yeah. yeah. There are benefits to auction, as in you get a quicker turnover in some cases. The stuff is going to sell as long as it gets bids. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say experiment with both, see what fits you. And we found two of these today on the same stool. It was yesterday. Was it yesterday? <laughs> and um, we were having a rummage and I spotted these. The lady came out and I said, oh, we're interested in your mugs. How much are they? And she said, oh, I was just going to, I don't want anything for them. Just take them away. So we we thanked her a lot. And, Free and, Eeyore mugs. And, yeah, had the pair and they looked barely used they're really Disney nice store? i'm not sure they are just says I don't think, no they're churchill not they're the churchill barrel ones now would you sell they're them licensed as, but they're not would you do them as a pair sure. no i think i did them separately yeah yeah well you did them on the same listing then yeah 
Yeah. Um, uh, Tom and Bell sell, no, Tam and Bell sell, sorry. Um, Tam and Bell sell say, um, after having a hard time earlier this year, I started watching all of your videos and it inspired me to start reselling. And I've tentatively started uploading a few videos. So thank you both. That's Ooh, brilliant. Oh, you're doing videos. That's brilliant. That's really on, good. On that name then tam and bell sell i assume that's that's the channel yeah. so if we click through you, you, well you i don't know if you can do we that can do that we can't do that in Streamyard, but maybe other people watching can click i'm gonna have to write it down because i'll i'll forget and take a look at your channel i'll come and have a look <laughs> tam and bell sell um Right, shall I share that what I spent loads of money on? Yeah, have we shared everything else? No. Oh. Okay, you're just going to go for it. I don't know. Do you want to carry on? We can we can do whatever. Should we whiz through everything else then, and tease the big? I've told I've yeah, told everyone what it is anyway. Chat. I really am. Well, it's already <laughs> quarter to nine. <laughs> ah, oh, Chandler did whoopa. Oh, that was it. <laughs> whilst trying to steal whips, I remember that. <laughs> whoopa. Yeah. And was it, who was it with him? Joey, I suppose, going, and Chandler going, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so that was the one. That's it. Yeah, um, um, I've got some bits down here. Have you? Okay. I do. Um, actually, from the same stall that I picked up that African bowl, we picked this up. Now, there's a certain word for this type of wood, isn't there? I'm sure we've had something like this. Isn't before. that a kind of fungal infection I'm just that the take tree it off has? The, off the screen, so we can actually see. That would have been like a, a fungal growth on the tree, isn't it? But I know what you're saying. There, there is a word. <laughs> yeah, there is a word. I'll have to find it. But yeah, I really like this. It's got a tiny, annoying yeah. little. Piece of I damage. went over it and over it and I thought, oh, these are all intact. That's fantastic. Couldn't see any other chips. And it was only when I got it in the car, I realised there's a really tiny chip on me. Mind you, it was a pound. So we were going to take yeah, it anyway, it was a pound. even with a little bit of damage. Because I, I think that's really nicely done. Reminds me a bit of that. Do you remember that massive giraffe I got that was being given away on the side of the road? Stood like, yeah, yeah, yeah or... that's Selena bought. Just lean by that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that yeah. I really like that. Actually. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, and then I picked up a pair of Kath Kidston shoes. They are a size six. If anyone's interested. Um, but yeah, slip on sort of. They feel velvety. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh. They're really nice, and the soles look like that, and the. Obviously, need a bit of a spray and a clean. But, oh, that's that's gone all strange. But yeah, really sweet. I wish I kind of wish they were my size. I'm a six and a half, so just too small. Steve says it was funny at the first door we met you at, watching you get all that great stuff. Felt like I was watching one of your garage trail videos. Yeah, well, we weren't filming at that point, but that's the store we went back and got all the Warhammer. Um, I don't know. I just had a feeling before we left. I said, I'm going to go back to that stall. Yeah. And also, it hadn't been that great. And that's been the best stall. We've just thought we'd just yeah. see if they put some more stuff out. There wasn't much but else out and about, was there? That that was funny because I was also standing back just watching you because literally she was bringing out these bags and putting them on the table. And then you were just like grabbing the stuff as she was bringing it out. So we were all just observing you. <laughs> Very Felt a little bit watched, to be honest. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Yeah, that was the story with the kid who was just just rabbiting on non-stop. He was loving life. Uh, George had a dinosaur head recently. Not sure if it was exactly the same as yours. Right. I'll I'll send him a picture then. See if he has has any info on that. Um, ah, okay. Yeah. George had something similar. Right. Excellent. Oh, um, um, Georgie reseller. It's blue. Oh, it is a Jurassic World one. Its eyes light up and it makes sounds. I assume it. I assumed it made sounds because there is a battery compartment. So it's blue. Oh yeah, of course. Let. Excellent. Quick, write that down. 
<laughs> Jurassic World Blue. Mr. Smith is requesting a video on taking of pictures for eBay. I think I've done similar types of videos in the past if you search through. Well, I, my pictures aren't great. I, I, I just use my phone and I snap away. I, I don't. It's, it's not really, there's nothing technical about it. We use our camera. I do need we better use lights. Our I'm, I'm, we use our phones, the camera in our phones. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I don't think I've got a great deal to offer as far as photography videos go. Um, yeah. I mean, like I could do, but you won't learn much from me. I just, yeah. And I, I do need a better lighting setup. We have these little LED banks of lights and they don't really provide enough because it's very dark in my office. Mm -hmm. I need to think about getting, improving that. If you do, Ellen anyway, might want to use these because. Um, well, I'm thinking keeping them and adding to it. Oh, I see. Because they're really she's, handy she's for this. She's looking to get some daylight ones. Um, Lena says it's a Jurassic World chomp and roar mask for the Lossoraptor, which is um, it is on a pre-owned for fifty pounds plus PMP. Thank you. <laughs> um, I mentioned before we picked up some goodness gang. So up here you can see there's there's a I think that's an onion. This is peas in a pod. That oh no that's Nemo. <laughs> I thought that was a fruit. That's a fish. But so we've got an apple. I've never had the cauliflower. How cool is he? And strawberry. I think I've got another strawberry somewhere. I don't know what that is. What's that? Is that a radish? What would that be? I'm not sure, actually. What do you reckon that is? It's red and white. It might be a radish because radishes have got a white bottom. <laughs> I reckon a radish. Don't know. So yeah, I've grabbed a load of those. We will we'll probably bundle them. George says, "Proper YouTube resellers put the masks on their heads." I did. I've already been there, mate. <laughs> Are we that far behind in the chat? Yeah. This is... Go on then, let's do a tap point. What's this from? Oh, I don't want to show the tag because it says it on it. Um, the trouble is, I'm, oh, hang on, I'm nearly at the end of the chat. Sorry if we've missed any... Well, yeah, um, I'm, I'm having to go to the end of the chat because now Nick's asked a question. So if, <laughs> if I've missed any of any important things that you've put in the chat, then it's all Nick's fault. <laughs> Have that standard. <laughs> Gruffalo, yes. This is the mouse from Gruffalo, like the protagonist in, in, in Gruffalo. And I think Claire was first. Tap point to Claire. And it's a radish. <laughs> it's a puppet. And that's from my allotment diary, so he would know. Looks like a radish, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. We'll go with radish. I don't know where you are, you might have missed. Uh, ah. Burwood. Is it burwood? Most commonly caused by a fungal infection, the tree heals over and continues to grow. However, the internal growth pattern. So, yeah, that's what we were talking about this. It creates these amazing sort of uh, gnarled trees and lumps mm. on the trees right oh selena's in yes he's doing well with his cheetah brothers excellent okay um shall i go to the end or i'll let we, you do the we check. might as well so yeah that's a little gruffalo uh mouse and Another Julia Donaldson. This is Stickman. What I'll probably do is just pair it up with the book. Oh. And, right, let's do some Warhammer. So, as oh, I said, I'm going to so do... Go on. Aid is a wood turner. Um, so, no, it's, but, yeah, so it's bare wood. Birds are very sought after. Cool. Oh, and Mark says that they use the term parasite. Parasite wood. wood. That's, yeah, I I've heard that. I think that is what I might have had to in my mind i'm putting notes on there if you want to put 
Um, so I am going to do a separate video about the Warhammer because I think it will be interesting once I've worked out what I'm hoping to get back and then I'll share with you how much I spent on this lot. I think that will be an interesting video because I spent an awful lot of money, but I'll show you what I picked up. There are. Oh, I'm making a mess. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 or 19 of these codex books. These are mostly the hardback ones, and a lot of them, I don't think any of them have really been used, and some have factory seals still on. Um, these, I've looked some of these up already, as you can see. Uh, they range from about £10 to £25 value each there was also um some figures none of which have been out of the packaging you can see the original 20 pound price on there so that sort of stuff for example and some of these sealed packs now i had quite a chat with the the gentleman and they had they him and his partner got into warhammer and then they'd had a child and i think what had happened is at the same time as they spent loads of money on warhammer life got in the way they had a child and it it never kind of came to fruition they didn't really get into building and painting and all of that stuff so it had sat and he decided he was going to sell it all and that's where i came into the picture so none of it is used. Um, this starter kit has been opened, but the contents are all still on the sprues. Nothing's been constructed. Um, the dice packs are still sealed, etc. So you've got stuff like that. We'll get into the expensive stuff in a minute. This is a box full of paint so most of this is the um or well, a lot of it at least is the official citadel stuff again some of it looks like it's been used they may have painted some figures i didn't see any used figures that he showed me but a lot of this stuff in here is all sealed um sealed paints some of it's still in baggies it's i don't know what is there in there 100 150 paints a lot <laughs> They spent a lot of money on that. And then the pièce de la résistance. Now, I, I have looked these up. I'm going to take the prices that I'm going to ask off because I'm going to do a separate video and I'm not going to reveal it now how much I spent on this. I think it's worth making a separate video about. This is epic. This is Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team and it's as far as I know, it's the first edition, and it is factory sealed. It's the only time I think I've ever found in the wild sealed Warhammer. I've had a couple, anyway, one particular Warhammer pickup, I remember, from Hitchin Boot Sale, which was a huge job lot. You may remember if you followed the channel for a long time, but that was all used. A lot of it was painted. It was all constructed. This is so unusual to find brand new sealed stuff so that is pretty epic and has a price tag to match and this one <sighs> it's heavy <laughs> is warhammer 40,000 indomitus set again factory sealed so you can see what's included all of those figures and again, we, we, it wasn't cheap. None of this was cheap, but I, I went away and did a little bit of research and a little bit of thinking, and then we went for it. And I've since been doing some research. I need to finish doing my research, but I'm going to make a separate video and you can decide how much of a bargain we got, but we paid a lot of money. So that's the Warhammer pickup. We go back to other stuff yeah you've got a i'm gonna shut them 
I'm going to shut the cat, not the cat, the blind, oh, because people are going to be oh, peering well, in. I shall can't... I pass you some Pokemon and I'll go shut it? Can you reach it? Yeah. Is that, are those boxes in the way? Oh, yeah, Pokemon. Again, from the first store where we, we got loads of toys and games, I picked up. They had some other Pokemon plush that I probably should have grabbed anyway, but they were unofficial. Um, they weren't. Uh, official license stuff whereas these are the official licensed Tomy ones so you've got a little quite a shiny uh, Pikachu he's winking at me um, there's a it's cool, somebody it? I don't I don't <laughs> know I don't know most Pokemon apart from the uh, see that's an official labeled one it's not a Tomy oh, though he's so cute. who is that <laughs> I don't know. Somebody will tell you, though. Somebody might tell me. Do you know who that is? It's that point on offer if you know that guy. Um, oh, and a Charmander. Score Bunny. Squ Score Bunny? Oh, Jennifer, straight in there. Score Bunny? That's a new one on me. So, Pokemon. Was it S C O R? Thank you. That point on its way. And yeah, now Charmander, Charmeleon. One of those. He's nice. I think he's a Tomy. Yeah. So we grab those because they're really cute and super saleable. Oh, here's the Woody that goes with the. Well, he might not officially go with that bullseye. I might sell them separately still. Join your posse, boys, but first I'm gonna sing a little song. You got a date with justice, one-eyed Bart. And he's got his hat. He's got his hat on. Oh, this hat doesn't even does it not come off? I thought they all came off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's just <laughs> secured on. Yes, the hats go missing very often. I've had this so many times, usually without a hat. Yeah. So he's in really nice condition. This kid, I think was treated very well at Christmas, shall we say. He had so many toys and a lot of them didn't look very played with. So he was a very lucky kid. So that's the Woody that I will either do separately or bundle with Bullseye, we'll see. Lex would like to know, are tap points still valid currency since Brexit? Yeah, totally. Internationally renowned and accepted everywhere, a bit like American Express. It's a massive red nose day dog. Kelly in with the jokes. How do you get Pikachu on a bus? You Pokemon. With Pokemon. <laughs> Heard it before, Kelly. Oh, I got two of these. Um, my dad collects mm. these. Um, we were there last night. No, I, we bought a blue tit. Yeah, tip. there is a blue tit somewhere. It's a blue tit somewhere. And this, which is a uh, woodpecker, and he doesn't have the woodpecker, so I might save this for dad. Yeah, I might add the blue tip to... They have... So I've bought Ella a couple of um, singing birds. I've oh, well, ask your brother if she if she has any interest in them before. I bought them for her as a gift now. I just haven't given them to oh, her. Oh, you haven't given them to her? Oh, I see. I thought you'd given them to her ages ago. No, because I asked Matthew and he said, wait until you see us because it'd be better for you to give it to her. Okay. Um, so the, yeah, that's my niece, by the way. <laughs> these you squeeze and they, and they give out the call of the bird. They're really cool. I like those. Um, but it looks what, like we're giving them away. Are they? Do you know what make they are? I think there's. I think there might be a few different brands. I think maybe I got mine from the RSPCA. I don't know. RSPB, probably. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> um, the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. That one yeah. is. I think there are several companies making yeah. these now. So we have from the same stall again. I don't know what he's doing? He's doing a bit of ballet. I didn't set that up. Look, he's saluting. Hello. He's come out of the bag like that. Wow. You know what? You know what happens when we leave them alone. Wow. He's, he's been playing. Um, I don't think it has any battery power. Oh, it, he's lighting up on the tips of his wings, and his jets are lighting up. 
There's no voice coming out of him. Need to investigate whether he's functioning. Yeah, there might just be the batteries. And I've not had one of this style Furby. Put the Pokemon, Pokemon they, back in the they, bag. They have masks that come off, look, like sleeping masks. So he's cool. What does that bit do? Look. I don't know. So not, maybe it lights up or something. Not had one of those designs. That feels like a button you can press. Like to. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Furby boom. I'm not hitting this one with a hammer. That was a one off, Kelly. Um, I got a very nice candlestick. I very much like that candlestick. So there you are. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> the, the lush what the birds and, and you're right jasper would like them he tried to nick my glow worm yes yeah. well monty would have been all over oh it. my goodness things like that so excited he would destroy a soft toy in seconds monty so talking of things that we buy to keep for ourselves we bought did you, did you show this then i was miles yeah. away oh you did i, I said it's a very, I think it's a very nice candlestick. I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> yeah, I think I spotted exactly. that, didn't I? Probably. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, talking about things that we buy to keep for ourselves. If you have, if you have watched any of my videos, you might have seen my sustainability video where I talk about the fact that I pick up second, well, second hand but unused soap. <laughs> what you bought. A bag of it. We're very dirty people. <laughs> <laughs> this, though, I was drawn to this so fast. Look, so they're nice. like bricks. Yeah. But okay. wait till you hear how much we paid in a minute. Where's the, where's the one that's got the price tag on? There's a few. That's got a price tag on. So, oh, look, this one's chocolate. Original RRP, £10. In the it's, sale. Um, in the sale, two ninety nine. Yeah, but well, it's not in the sale. It's two K max. Oh, two K max. Okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> soap all over you now. Um, handmade in Italy, veggie towels soap. So I, I took a look and I asked the the store holder, "How much is your soap?" Yeah. And they said, 10 pence each." But the designs on them are so pretty. Look at that one. It's got sparkly bits. How many it? more have you got in there? Loads. <laughs> this will keep us going for the next year. Yeah, we're not going to be... We might give Ellen some to take away with them. Yeah. Look at that one. We, we pick up soap whenever we see it at boot sales. Um, that is. So we're not buying new, right? And it's and it's recycling, reusing. Yeah. And So not, we already have probably 20 bars of soap in the bathroom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ten of these, and they're like they're like bricks. Did you already say they were ten p each? Ten p each, yeah. Ten p each. Oh, so and this one. Yeah. So we paid a pound just on those. And a body shop one. And then got a body shop one. And then I got some bamboo cloths as well. Awesome. Oh, Ashley's linked your channel. Yeah, if you don't follow oh, Andrea's thanks. channel, Andrea has a channel where. It is about reselling, but it's also about your... It's about low-impact lifestyle. That's what I'm going to call it. Yeah. Low-impact lifestyle. So there's thrifting. It's a bit of reselling in there. Um, also things about, yeah, just general low-impact lifestyle, really. And veganism. Yeah, veganism, sustainability, that sort of thing. Uh, oh, can you pass me Baymax? Yeah. Where You're, is he? Oh, he's there. As you can tell... Over the weekend, most of our spend and most of our good stuff came from one stall. Yeah. So this is Baymax from the uh, Disney film um, Big Hero 6. Yeah. Yeah. And this is Baymax in his kind of armoured form, fully articulated figure. I don't know if he's a talking one. Oh, he's got an on button. Oh. How do I make him do different things? Oh, does his wings come up? Oh. Has he got buttons to press? Oh, 
<laughs> His hands pop off. Oh, there's a button. Where, where was that button? On the top, on his chest. Ah. What was that? No. Oh, no, that pops out. <laughs> What's that? I don't know what buttons do what. But he clearly... He lights up. And he does stuff. <laughs> anyway, he's really cool. I don't think there's masses of value. Probably... Did I look him up? I'm going to say about 15 to 20 on him, probably. Something like that. He's a really nice figure, though. Uh, he was £2. Who have you got? I've got Zerg. Zerg. <laughs> now, this is not uh the think way he's Dis disney store i think yeah he's a disney yeah. store how is it he does things oh yeah. that spins around and then <laughs> this reminds me of the ride in paris the one where you go around with the little guns pew, 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 pew. shooting him yeah the um Buzz, the Buzz Lightyear one, um, what's it called? La not Laser Blast, something like that. The, the Toy Story <laughs> ride in Paris, this reminds me of. Yeah, so he was a couple of pounds. Um, not sure what he's worth, but... I feel like I should... I can't actually speak. Let me reset my brain. Um, <laughs> Ellen would be very disappointed in me for not remembering what the name of the ride is. Someone will know. What is it? Buzz, Buzz Light, Buzz... Go and ask her. You know, you've got a laser gun and you have to shoot all the things. Oh, Rich and Flipping Sloth bought a Zerg from a car boot. Cool. I've not had that one before. Uh, it's quite a nice figure. It's a big figure. I'm not... This is work. This is work, remember? Hard at work. I have him in my attic. Excellent, says Jilly. Um, let's read a little bit from the thanks, chat. Thanks, Simon, but I don't know who Angela is. Hi, Nick and Angela. Hi, Angela. Because um, she doesn't live here. <laughs> First time caller, long time listener. Thanks for the videos. They're a massive help. Good. I'm glad you enjoy them, Simon. I will pass that on to Angela. I think that Angela lives with Neil, doesn't she? Angela and Neil. Oh, <laughs> they're everywhere, them two. Right. So annoying. And Nick complains about Andrea's mug collection. Yeah. See, that's out of control, though. It's not out of control. I was at his... Well, we were at your mum's last night for dinner and we were washing up and his, I swear his mum's got more mugs than I've got. Nobody has more mugs than you've got. We've got a crateful in the loft. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a crateful in the cupboard under the stairs. And oh. they're all Christmas mugs. Oh, well, that's okay then that it's a crate under the stairs. They're Christmas mugs. <laughs> and when Christmas time comes, I take out all the normal mugs in the cupboard and I put the Christmas mugs in the cupboard. Yeah, because that's normal. Anyway, um, that pops out of his on his chest to tell you it's cold. Why would that be a thing? What's that about? Oh, well, it's something to do with the movie. I've, I haven't watched it for a long time, but I do love that film. I have to watch it. Again. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, really? Oh, oh, it's a lovely film. Chris is in with the one-liners. Nick's face there. Well, when his hand popped off, I wasn't expecting <laughs> that. Oh, that's the same one that uh rich has got yeah yeah um that's not a bad shout i mean we are getting overloaded so if we get to a point where we've just got way too much soap we yeah. will yeah. yeah i mean there's a homeless shelter in town as well um and who is it was doing the homeless bags thing oh it was um oh, the global thrifters global thrifters so we yeah. could do something like that yeah um, we are building up a backlog of soap because we, we can't get through it as quick as we find it. Yeah, but we will be sending some with Ellen, definitely. So yeah. she's got some to use while she's away. Laser Laser Blast in Paris is Space Ranger. Ah, oh, thank is you. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. So I was nearly right with Laser Blast. That's what I was thinking of. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Laser Blast. Right. Okay. And Space Ranger Spin, someone was saying, is the one in the States, maybe. See, we're learning. 
Typo, as <laughs> Simon says. Uh, hi, Neville. Right, what else have we got to share before we... Oh, that was a um, Baymax yeah. memory pack, says Mandy. Where? There. What, what? The bit that sticks out of his chest? I don't know. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've seen it. You need to wash more. <laughs> we wash... Frequently enough, we just can't keep up with the amount of soap we because whenever we see it, we pick it up now. Um, you know, so it doesn't get thrown away and so it gets used, but we can't keep up with the volume of soap. And I mean, who could resist picking those soaps up? They're just so nice, aren't they? Yeah, they were really nice. Oh, can you pass? Uh, now I picked up a trunky last weekend, maybe it was last week, and it was one I've never had before. Now I've got two. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tiger trunky um the last one i picked up actually had a couple of little issues which were annoying it's actually over there so what i'm thinking is i'm going to do a pair and make my listing stand out and just obviously declare the couple of slight issues on the other one this one's in perfect condition um they go for top of about 25 pounds each so i'll probably do the pair for 40 or something like that Hopefully a pair will stand out. Someone with twins might like them or two young kids. I don't know. Yeah. Mind you, you'd want two different ones, wouldn't you? So you could tell the suitcases apart. Yeah, you'd write the names. Personalise them. You'd write names on it. Yeah. Oh, look, you can put your names um, on there. Maddie says, yes, um, like a USB stick holds his memory. In. Oh, okay. We need to dig that film out and watch it. Um, Julie does the same with soaps. It's a good idea, isn't it, Julie? Julie, it's a really good idea. So, yeah, that was that. And that one was £3.50. And, yeah, if I was doing it individually, I'd shoot for about 25 on that. Can you pass me some of the bit? There's the blue tip. Oh, yeah. There's another one of these talking, not talking, they sing. Cool. I don't know if they have any value to resell, by the way. We picked these up because we're going to re-gift these. Mm -hmm. Um so we're thinking one to my dad and one to um to ella to ella <laughs> ella is andrew's brother's yeah daughter. it's um gets very confusing because our daughter's ellen and my brother's daughter is ella so. <laughs> and my sister's daughter is emma and now my other sister's daughter is eden it's another e and erin and erin is my other sister's daughter it's like come on with the I just go, oh, you, the small one over there. I found I found another um, PlayStation Move controller. Um, I paid more than you can if people don't know what they've got and, and the uh, current value of these because these are used for the PSVR. Um, you can still pick them up really cheap. I had to pay 15 for this one, so it was a fair bit. It does have the, uh, the camera, but those don't really add any value. The old ps3 camera um but yeah i think these are still up in the 30s so i, I grabbed it I, I have no idea about this but it looked fun so i picked it up we're probably going to play this cobra poor ninja like ninja like know-how steals the game no idea sounds up my alley this is the sort of game we like to take when we when the family gets together or we go family camping Still haven't played Blooming Kittens, Exploding no, Kittens. I took it down to it. Bristol and we forgot to play it. <laughs> Names beginning with E are the best, Elaine says. Yeah, it just gets very confusing in our family. Um, um, a couple of games, there's not great value in them, but I love to sell my board games. This is the junior version of Pass the Bomb. Uh, I don't know what's different to the adult version. Just the uh, question cards, I presume. Yeah. So that's quite nice. Not had that one before. Really nice condition. Articulate for kids. Sells well. Might sit it on the shelf till Christmas when I'll get a slight premium on it. I'm struggling to... Can I swap you for these two, then? Yeah. A creationary. From the first store, the one where we bought loads of gear. Oh, I 
I've had a head, but I don't know where the body is. Oh yeah, I don't know if I brought the body in. I, I'll, I'll, do you want to? Do you want to <laughs> figure it out? Might wonder what we're talking about. <laughs> we've got, we've got an Elmer. Can you model it for the for no, the for the must... wonderful people? <laughs> Mate. Make me all messed up. Um, creationary, not sold it for a while. Couldn't tell you the going rate, but they tend to hold their value. It's a Lego construction board game. Can't actually reach that one. Uh, paid two on that. A sealed shout board game I know nothing about. Yeah, I'll pass you that and I'll grab it. In. Simpsons Monopoly. Really nice. Good condition as well by the look of it. And this one, which I did actually look up when I got home because I've not had it before and it doesn't seem to hold much value. It's a Harry Potter Tri Wizard Cup. I don't think it goes for much more than 10, so this one isn't great. Oh dear, we've well, we got an avalanche going on. It's always worth a try. Ooh. And this one is sealed, but I don't, I've never heard of it. Shout, the explosive team game of looking, linking and thinking. Sounds good, but yeah. it's a Drummond Park one, so it is. Yeah, Drummond Park do some really good games. They do the the logo game, which is a great game actually. If you pick it up to resell, play it before you sell it. It's great, um, but I'm not going to unseal that one just to play it. Um, can I give, can I give you them back? Well, you can. I don't there's no room down there. Okay. And yeah, I picked up a, a full body Elmer suit for a kid. But you know, <laughs> hang on. Yeah, that, that suits you. Oh, it fits. It does. Yeah, it's like a full. Like there, there's the thumbnail. It's like a full-on <laughs> onesie, like an Elmer onesie in in this pattern, <laughs> which I think is in the front room. Um, yeah, I think we paid a pound for it. That will sell easy peasy. Some Lego Chima swords, which are really nice. Um, yeah. And then lo loads of books and media. <laughs> Question there from Porky's Discounts. Porky's Discounts. Will you be trying eBay fulfillment or do you like control of your sales? I don't know if we we'll be trying then. it. We have to be VAT registered. Someone mentioned that. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> um <laughs> hair did <laughs> i don't know is the answer to that probably not um but i did notice that they rolled out fulfillment ebay's own fulfillment we did trial or try habu a few years back yeah that and then ha habu so had a very rocky <laughs> few years shall we say with well, i think lots, they're still having a rocky few years lots of problems so yeah. we think they're still going but um that put us off fulfillment shall we say although we had quite a good experience with them yeah our many others have bad and i do know a couple of people that had you know pretty good experience with them but we know lots of people who didn't so unfortunately didn't work out so well i want a t-shirt with nick wearing the elm <laughs> and the elephant <laughs> what that's quite a niche t-shirt um that's no spy scales outfit nick no it's not and for those who don't know the reference there actually we can say um we um once a year we tend to do a big charity event we 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 like to if we can use this platform we have here on youtube um for the greater good so we we, we are doing another charity event and we've, we've teamed up with laney and we because she was uh, aiming for an event at the end of uh october yeah and we are so ridiculously busy with the app ellen leaving home going on holiday everything so much going on in the next couple we've of weeks. pushed we our charity that. event back and we've decided to team up with laney and do it all on the last weekend in october yeah and as the finale to that four blokes are dressing up as the spice girls so if you because it's 90s thing. If you were around um, last year at any point, if you were watching us then, we did an 80s festival for the British Red Cross appeal for, well, the, their COVID appeal. And, yeah, so we had like a, a four-day weekend YouTube did we, festival. Did we not do it for mine? No, we did it for oh, British okay. Red Cross. 
Um, so this year, instead of 80s festival, we're doing a 90s festival. So that's why you're doing Spice Girls. Yeah. So it'll be a lot of um, different people on different channels doing 90s themed we're, things. We're, um, we're yeah. trying not to reveal the lineup. I'm one of them. Not going <laughs> to say which Spice Girl I am. You can decide what you think would be best. We have now filled all five slots. I did ask Zahir, you may have seen in his live show, he declined, which is totally understandable, Zahir, if you're watching. Uh, I've spoken to him since. He's cool about it. But Zahir is not a Spice Girl, but other people are. Um, I think some might have been revealed accidentally on other channels. I think they were. <laughs> um but just for a laugh really that's going to be kind of the finale on sunday night i think we're going to do it over a weekend and we're going to invite anybody who has a channel to get involved when, when we get nearer we'll start putting a, a schedule together like last time and then we'll just have a weekend of fun and try and raise some money yeah so, so yeah. you know if you want to get involved you can be doing anything anything 90s themed really music film culture food yeah, anything, anything that you can think of, or or just anything. If 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 you don't want to make it ninety soon, it doesn't matter. But that's the overarching theme is going to be nineties. Um, so apparently the shout ball game between between five and twenty. Well, there, there's eBay for you. I'll be going nearer the twenty end of that spectrum then. Uh, oh, there's Laney. Yeah, Laney's um, already been fundraising, and we are we are going to support Mind, which is what Laney's already started fundraising for with the calendars and the cards. Uh, we figured it made sense to pool our efforts uh, and do everything together. So, yeah, really pleased we're doing that. Um, Nick, you look like a court jester in that <laughs> elephant head. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, we need a montage of all the different outfits Nick has tried on and modelled over the years. Well, if, yeah. if somebody wants to do, put that together, please do. Um, they ah, Zane has the facts, as always. They partnered up with Orange Connects for business and VAT registered sellers only at the moment. So you have to be VAT registered. That's what you'd heard. Yeah. Right. We or the, our skirting underneath underneath that so we're not we were for a very long time vat registered but, yeah. but we deregistered a few years back um so we wouldn't qualify anyway <laughs> it is for exciting thanks lola <laughs> um did i say four blokes me and four others five blokes yes all of the spice girl slots have been filled i can't say that well you did earlier all of them so. <laughs> we we have five blokes to be all of the spice girls um i think i've checked that they're all up, still up for it because one i asked when he was drunk <laughs> <laughs> Stu, nick dressing up as one of the spice girls makes me wonder how quickly i can develop con cataracts to avoid seeing the horror of it all <laughs> thanks Stu. <laughs> don't have to watch <laughs> I think it's going to be car crash TV. I, I think it'll be hard not to watch. And Lex says, I'll be DJing for an hour, but just playing my music. <laughs> yes, fine. That sounds awesome. Sounds cool. We'll, we'll try and get involved again, shall we? <laughs> Last time I let my hair down when Lex was DJing and got rather drunk live on the internet and danced about like a loon. It was good fun. It was the, it was the best fun I've ever had in this office. <laughs> okay. Too much information. <laughs> um, sporty. Lola reckons sporty. What, for me? You, I can't reveal. I can't reveal these facts. Um, I have a favourite Spice Girl, and that is the one I picked. That's all I'm saying. See, if you'd have hit Z with S Club 7, not Spice Girls, you'd have been up for it. I think you might have been. <laughs> oh, the, Ashley's found the link to lex's epic 80s club <laughs> night with yeah. the dancing i've not watched and then, it back and darren did a, a montage of the entire weekend didn't he which was brilliant he did yeah maybe nearer the time when we come up to the next uh weekend we'll we'll share darren's montage of last year yeah. um i'm not sure we'll top that because it was 
was it in lockdown it was wasn't it yes that was the whole point because we couldn't go to the festival we had tickets for so that's where the idea grew from wasn't it yeah, yeah. but we are going to the festival this year we in are. a couple of weeks we're going to rewind to see loads of uh, 80s acts yeah. uh. so that's the weekend of halloween mm -hmm. that there will be some things happening through the week too yeah yeah so he says get your glow sticks and your whistles ready <laughs> yeah um have we shared now i did pick up some quite nice media this week so i share a couple of bits if you like oh oh um it is half past though so oh uh, we won't be long yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who remembers that film it's not it's not amazing but it is sealed so it'll sell really easily drop dead fred we re-watched this didn't we yeah when we were on holiday last year when we were on holiday yeah in the airbnb yeah. i wasn't that i don't know it, it's okay but it's not Sometimes a great film to go the back films to films that we saw in the 80s and 90s seemed better back then yeah, yeah. <laughs> um oh this was a series that you loved oh yeah picked yeah. some of these up as an instant bundle this is um oh what's her name alison dubois no the oh, actress uh, trisha, trisha arquette, trisha Ar yeah. arquette. she plays alison dubois who is a real person and i now follow her on youtube yeah you've read her book haven't you yeah didn't i buy i did. bought you her that book. was one of my favorite christmas presents that i've ever received from you was it, it was. excellent so yeah we grabbed these i i don't know if there's much value but i like doing instant bundles like that um yeah, lots of stuff. I also bought four series of this, which I, don't, I know nothing about. The Ghost Whisperer. Have you ever seen that? I've seen a few episodes. I've not seen it like as a whole series. Is that similar to Medium? She it talk, was around talks to the, the same dead. sort of time. Um, it's completely fictional, this one. But yeah, it was quite a good series, I thought. Yeah. But I'm, I think it was on a, a strange channel that we didn't watch a lot. So, didn't so really... I bought kind of half a crate full of dvds uh and box sets pay 20 pound a lot and um, there's all sorts of series in there um ashley's asking did you manage to resell the tap i sent to you in the swap shop the board game a giant nemo plush um a harry potter book and i can't remember one um i don't know did we did we i don't know i think i think the, we passed the, on the nemo that yeah, went to someone else i think the nemo is was, was given to someone I think I did sell the board game and there wasn't there a puzzle so I can't remember it feels so long ago but yeah wow so much went on last time um also picked up Male Maleficent on blu-ray yeah. Kim's asking what? wasn't Alison Dubois the woman that got drunk on Real Housewives I don't think so it doesn't sound like her <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the actress Jen, yeah. in Ghost Whisperer. Oh, yes, Kim. She was so re oh. really. This is all the tea. You might have to look the that tea. up on YouTube, see if the clip's on there. Because I, I watch her YouTube videos and I think she's absolutely lovely. So I didn't even know. I didn't know this, Daniel. Rick Mayo was going to play Peeves in Harry Potter, but he unfortunately died, oh. so they never used the footage. Oh. So he filmed it then. That's oh, a shame. That a shame. Yeah. Love Rick Mayo. Yeah. Such a character. Um, okay. Oh, Alfie. Alfie said there he'd love to buy the Woody. Um, if you see stuff in these videos, the best thing to do, the links should be below all of our videos, is to contact us. Contact, contact Andrea. Um, because you're better at replying. <laughs> and um, we, can, we can sort that out for you. Um, just a quick one, don't message us on eBay about items that aren't listed on eBay. We get it all the time and we can't respond to most of those messages uh, because of eBay's regulations about that sort of stuff. So contact us privately through Instagram is best. Andrea's quicker to respond most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, <man. laughs> contact Angela, yeah, you, if you like. Um, so 
glitterized rainbow love the name says daniel it wasn't because he died they filmed it he got paid but they never used the footage because the kids laughed so much they couldn't do the full take ah well there's a different version of events interesting oh, do you know i'm if that's true i'm so if it's really as her then i'm really disappointed you have to look it up and see yeah. um have we shared all that we wanted to well i think so there's more stuff in this box but it's electronics and phones mm. and there's some free computer stuff like hard are they hard drives i can't remember what they are but they're yeah nothing particularly interesting so i think we're going to wrap up um if you joined us late um please go and i'll put the link in again if i've still got it to rich's page is that it yes it is um please go over there and read what rich has put if you do nothing more that's fine if you've got a few pounds to spare please help rich out um and we'll see you next week oh daniel says um apologies i thought it was because of his death shame they never put it in deleted scenes yeah i'd love to done. see that yeah, yeah even yeah. if they're outtakes yeah that would have been good okay. so um videos to come you got any videos on your channel coming no because i have been working on the wix video oh yeah we're working with wix not wix the diy store we've had a few people message about <laughs> Are you working with Wix, the DIY Wix. store? Wix.com, as in W-I-X. <laughs> yes, the website building people. Yes. Um, so, yeah. When are they due to be out then, those videos? Well, I've nearly finished the edit of the first video. The first video is going to be the longest one to make because I've actually had to build the website and put it together and make the online store. So uh, yeah. once I finish the edit, I've got to send it to them for approval. Um, and then there will be one about adding a blog and then there'll be a follow-up up with us basically telling you yeah how it's worked for us yeah and um telling you our, our opinions yeah. on wix and how it was like to use their services so they're they're in the making as is the app hence we've not been listing a lot on ebay yeah. um what was i going to say i just lost my thread completely yeah and that's it i mean i've been spending them you know an hour or so in the mornings like working on the app as well so mm. um i will put a video out uh sharing the detail of that epic warhammer find at some point i've also got a massive media haul that i want to make a separate video about hopefully they'll be out soon so until next week thank you so much for joining us uh do you have I'm any sorry, words I've of wisdom to, i just want to read Car barry's <laughs> well the actress katie wicks I, she's brilliant isn't she, she is so oh, we brilliant. love katie wicks oh Wicks. my god and also she's... ghosts starts ghosts tomorrow a new series starts tomorrow yeah so yeah um i wish i was working with her <laughs> so actually uh where was rich just commented yeah we won't leave leave you with some words of wisdom please pop over to rich's page yes. and, and read what rich has to say over there uh, and we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Thanks so um, much for being here. This is week, another everyone. long goodbye. Have a good week, everyone. <laughs> Take care. See you soon.